Goodbye, Mr. Winter. Hello, Mr. Spring. The sun hat is back out. So you join me today at Era Force in the Lake District, which is just off Ullswater. And it's an absolutely beautiful day. It's about time we had some nice, warm, sunny weather. Photography wise, however, not so good. There's no clouds in the sky. It's full of hay, so should be interesting to say the least. I know what you're thinking. Air Force, beautiful waterfall in the Lake District. Why is he passing that? Well, to be honest, I'm not in the mood to capture waterfalls. The light is very harsh, so probably not the best conditions for waterfalls. Plus, I want to hike. So that's enough for me. To be honest, it does look rather splendid. Some nice woodland there as well. Um, so another day. I'm out of breath already. Oof. All right, let's not beat around the bush here. The conditions are not good. It's hazy, it's too bright, there's no clouds in the sky, it's just horrendous. But I tell you what, days like these act as good scouting days out just to get a feel of the location i've just taken a snap back there with my telephoto using a nice s curve on the road and you never know i might come back but look at the scenery look at it that's going to be wonderful either sunset or sunrise i might just make it for sunset it's about eight o'clock so we're talking about eight hours time or so but uh it's going to be a challenge Okay, so my recce continues in search of some decent foreground interest to complement the wonderful background behind me. All's water just opened up. You can nearly see the full length of it. Um, the sun is there at the side of me. Um, the sun is due to set right behind me. And he says there's something just flown past. What is that? I think I'm just getting attacked. Oh, there he goes. Duck. Start again. Okay, so I'm still in search of some decent foreground interest. Uh, but Ull's water has just opened up right in front of me. You can nearly see the full length of it. The action in terms of background is behind me there. The sun is there. It really is poor for photography conditions. The sun is due to set behind me, so it's going to cast some nice light over the fells to the side of Ullswater. I've just set up, it's, it's not, it's not nothing special, but I just want to show you the effects that a polarizer has, especially in conditions like this, where it is harsh light and then a hazy. Um, that wind is picking up. So, I've set up here, telephoto is on, I've got my threaded uh, polarizer circular polarizer on as well and I'm just gonna turn video on so you can just see the impact I'm just gonna turn the thread and excuse the chemistry and the hander right and there we go turn it around turn it there we go and you see there there you go look at that different there yeah the camera is not at a right angle so you're probably not going to see the full effects of it um, yeah it's getting bluster 
it's all coming back to me i remember losing this hat once it's all coming back to me i'm just gonna crack on still in search you never know i don't you never know what i might find Okay, so this is where we're at in terms of photography. The clouds have come in, the wind is picked up, hence the reason why I'm doing some sort of strange, I don't know, posture, whatever, just to shield the um, mic from the wind. I can't find any sort of decent composition. It's, it's around two o'clock now in the afternoon, the, the sun is high in the sky, the light is just awful, just hazy, no real definition. Um, I'm hoping it may improve, um, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm going to climb now to my destination uh, and see what happens there. But um, you never know, things may improve. So I'm finally down from outside. To be honest, there wasn't much going on, just a lot of grass, very limited foreground interest, in fact, barely, barely nothing. Um, telephoto came out. I got what, one or two decent shots. Uh, last shot, 7.1 aperture, using the diagonals in the frame. That's, you'll probably find that as a common theme in my photography. I'm still looking for foreground interest. Uh, I'm back at Ullswater, so I'm gonna use that as a background. There's a couple of trees here. I don't know what they are, maybe cypress trees. I don't know, some sort of pine, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna work that, so um, see what happens there. But uh, a bit of slog, difficult, very difficult day so far. I'm hoping to end on a high. So this is it, this is the composition. These are the two trees I've been talking about. There's something just appealing about them. But I'm struggling to get anything decent. I have taken one shot. I've taken a hands out shot using just this tree here and the branch which stands out. So I've made sure that that follows the line of ooze water in the background. This is all about the colors, the lovely greens and the blues and it works. I might square crop it, 4-3 crop it, I'm not sure. But pretty good with that, pretty pleased.
Okay, so it's now around four o'clock, sunset about eight, so four hours. I'm not going to hang around for that. Um, I need to get back to my car and head back home because, believe it or not, I'm coming back here, well, to the Lake District with the family tomorrow, so I can't get back too late. It's been an on and off day, really. Not the best day for photography due to the conditions. Really harsh, light. Um, not much going on up that side, but I tell you what, it's a beautiful location. Ooswater, I mean, look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. So, on that note, I'd just like to say thanks a lot for watching and following me on my journey and my vlog. This is my style, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't with, with photography. Um, it's all part and parcel. And this is my style of vlogging and, and I'll continue to do that. I'll show the good images, the bad images, that's that's how it goes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I'd just like to say massive thanks for watching again and to my subscribers. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's James underscore R underscore Burns. I'm also on Vero as James R Burns. If you like what you see and you liked other videos, because I've linked quite a few in this one, haven't I? Then make sure you subscribe. Give me a like, give me a comment. I will always comment back. Anyway, you take care of yourself. Keep smiling. Be happy. Bye-bye for now.